Hi guys, welcome to episode 6 of Seasonal Swigs and Sweets. I'm Amber. I'm John. And today we are reviewing Ace Pumpkin Hard Cider. And for dessert we are having a Halloween candy bark. Get and that's, excited. That's from uh, the Pioneer, the Pioneer Woman. Woman. Yeah. For all you moms out there. Okay. All right. All right, let's talk about... Oh, so this is our first hard cider, we should say. We are both hard cider <laughs> We are both hard cider fans, Woo! so we're pretty excited for this. A little too we excited to, we over here. We to make a little hard cider ourselves, so mm. our yeah. standards are kind of high, because the kind we make is just such a high quality. It All really right. is. There's anyway, a look at the label. It's a label, yeah. And what do you think? Well, looks pretty oh, this is a fun fun cap, I guess. Ace. Okay, so it's label a label looks pretty plain to me. Looks pretty playing card. Look at that. Aces. Playing. Anyway, the label's cool. It's called yep. Ace. It makes sense. Mm, it's fine. Well, yeah, because it's a card. Right. Oh, this is gluten free. Oh, wait, I guess all ciders yeah, are gluten free. Yeah, all ciders are usually gluten free. It's from California. Um, label's fine. Nothing. Snow, Snow Night of the Living Stout. Am I right? Mm. Mm -hmm. Or am I right? If you can be. No, so I would rate this one probably a 2 out of 5. It's mm -hmm. nothing special. I'd give it a 1 out of 5. Ooh, that is harsh, so I think, John. I wouldn't, I wouldn't reach for the cider if I saw it. Alright, so I let's either. read what it says. <laughs> you did. <laughs> we had a limited selection. Alright, so uh, the website says, We first made our Ace Pumpkin Cider in the fall of 2010 and has become extremely popular since then. Never heard of it. We are trying to convince, you know? Mm. Uh, we add cinnamon, cloves, and allspice to fermented apple juice to to produce a five percent. You're what? welcome. Boom! That was in your face. We gotta think about these things. To produce a five percent ABV cider, which tastes just like pumpkin pie. It's a it's oh, light they orange. Oh, it tastes like pumpkin pie. It better taste like pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's light orange in color with a full rich taste that makes you want more. We carbonate the cider, which means it's forced carbonated, not naturally carbonated. Mm. Uh, we carbonate the cider. Um, and cold filter it four times uh, before we bottle and keg it. This cider is released after Labor Day and is ideal for Halloween through Thanksgiving. Although some customers think we should make it year-round. Um. This is the first pumpkin cider to be made out west. And this is, a, this is from Sonoma, California. I've never actually had a pumpkin cider. I mean, not... Yes, you did. Well, are we just, talking... Just are a couple Are weeks we talking now. woodchuck? That's a pumpkin cider. Okay, but... Mm, okay. Woodchuck pumpkin. But they didn't... Cider. Uh, Alright. What's the confusion? There's no confusion. Alright. So, fun thing about ciders is... Well, it's not very fun, actually. It has the nutrition facts, which are always crazy high in calories. This is That's, 180 calories. You don't so. have to talk about that. We don't need to know that. We, no, we don't need to know Alright. Alright. Cracking it open. Oh, that I had a bottle in front of me. Oh boy. Ah, cidery, huh? Alrighty. Looks like cider to so, me. Yeah, zero head to speak of, which is pretty common. A little bubbly, not, not too bubbly. Hmm. hmm. Well, I don't smell pumpkin. I mean, it's like a... Yeah, first smell kind of makes one catch. Actually, to be honest with you. I'm a little... I can't really smell. Okay, so... I'm, I'm a little stuffy. Again. I'm smelling kind of, um... Sort of rotten apples. Is kind of is kind of the first smell I get. Oh, God. This bodes well. I, I, get, I get a little bit of spice. doesn't really taste like pumpkin. Or uh, pumpkin pie. But it, 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 it smells a little spicy. Mm. Uh, often a cheap hard cider will kind of smell like like a cheap white wine. This doesn't smell like that. This, no. this tastes app this smells appley. Wow. I don't smell any pumpkin in it at all. The color is orange, like it said. It's got a little bit of bubbles in there, but it's actually pretty still. Should we try it? Let's try it. Hmm. That is tart. Very tart. Mm -hmm. Let's dissect this. This is, this is going to be a tough one. Alright, so... 
up oh, front. Hold on. I asked for a hint of pumpkin. Mm. Yeah. It came through. Yeah, there's some pumpkin that comes through. Maybe because I drink a lot but of it's hard more, cider. I'm getting more apple. I mean, it's very... Well, yeah. It's very apple-y, obviously, yeah. cider, but... Huh. Oh. The smell is throwing me off, though. Yeah, so it has the um, the know. flavor on the back end of the palate, like biting into a ripe apple. Um, it doesn't taste doesn't taste alcohol in my opinion. Oh no, this is like juice, yeah, kind of, juice. you know. Hmm. Yeah, there's actually kind of a surprising a, amount of pumpkin. There in is. This. It's like um, like when you when you take a sip, it's like it hits you out of nowhere. And it's there. I mean, it's definitely yeah. there. I think because it looks, and it, the first sip kind of tastes like a regular hard cider, but yeah, yeah it's different. Not, I don't know, not in a good way. I mean, it, 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 I taste the pumpkin, which I appreciate. I appreciate. And I'm not even sure it actually has pumpkin in it, because most all it said was spice. It didn't say, well, most beers do put actual pumpkin in the match. I don't know if they put actual pumpkin in this. It just said spice. I can't decipher any particular spices. Can you? Can you taste all spice, nutmeg, cloves? I might be getting a little bit of nutmeg. Yeah, it has a little bit of a Christmas tea smell if you if you really try to try to get get all up in there. Um, but yeah, it has it has those flavors. It's almost um, it's a bit it's a bit too sour apple-y for me. Yeah, just like um, a, if it wasn't so tart. I think it could be a little... It could have smelled out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, for 13 grams of sugar, you'd think it'd be a little sweeter than that. Um, Ooh, yeah, so... It, yeah, the flavors are there. I, I just don't think they work. Um, so for... I've, I've, I've only had a couple um, pumpkins, uh, uh, pumpkin-flavored hard ciders, so... Yeah, I can I, only compare this to Woodchuck myself. I, I've had a couple others. Um, so I, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5 for, um, for a pumpkin... Hard cider? What would you give it? For a pumpkin flavored hard cider. I would say two probably also. Okay. And then for a hard cider, I would give this a one and a half out of five, I think. Because if I wanted a hard cider, which I often do, I would not go for this. Um, yeah, I guess if I was reaching for one, I would um, not stop. necessarily want a pumpkin Hard cider. Because, um, you know, like, Angry Orchard, for example, has, you know, a bunch of flavors. But I feel like this, the pumpkin is really not helping this much. Um, no. So as a hard cider in general, um, I would rate this. The voice that he's getting off. Hold on. Oh, jump Whoa. cut! Whoa, jump cut! Oh, Sorry. Wow, a whole lot of stuff just happened. Had some slight technical difficulties. Anyway, so I think you were uh, reviewing this fine as a American cider, cider in mm -hmm. general. Um, cider in general, I'd say this is probably yeah, I'd, I'd give it around a one point seven, mm. I guess. Another free uh, point two. It's not my favorite cider, and I cannot. See myself this might ever. be my least favorite cider. <laughs> no, I've had worse than this, I think. I think I have. I believe you. All right. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Mm. Sorry. Sorry, Ace. Yeah. Um, Not loving it today. So, yeah. I mean, try it for the novelty, but sure. I I'd give it a miss. Yeah. All right. Moving so, on to dessert. dessert. And we're back. And we're back. So here is the Halloween bark, which we just broke up. Nope. Oh. Nope. Um, you can kind of see it. So, that's what it looks like. So it's it cool. is, we've got some uh, dark so let's chocolate. Let's go the layers here, yeah. So yeah. we started with the graham cracker layer on mm -hmm. the bottom. Then we melted down the dark chocolate chips. Dark chocolate chips and a double boiler. Drizzled that all over it. Um, mushed up some Halloween um, Oreos. Got some pretzel Smacked sticks. Smacked them with the mallet. Yeah. Um, used Hershey candy corn. Um, they're new this year, I think. Mm -hmm. So uh, candy, check that out. Candy corn flavored creme. Yeah, and we also on mine put some candy corns. On his, there are none. Yeah, and there's some pretzels. Did we mention that? Yeah, pretzels. So yeah, so it's like a uh, trick or treat bag, and uh, yeah, what do we call it? Bark. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Thought we were gonna. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be kind of a redundant review because we told you what's in it. What's it going to be? Not good. Right. I mean, if you don't like graham crackers and chocolate and Oreos and every other thing, then you're not going to like it. But you can do whatever toppings you want, which is fun. So just go nuts. Anyway. Hmm. That's right. It's delicious. It's yep. sweet. A lot of the recipes... For Halloween bark, use um, almond bark. I'm allergic to almonds. We can't use that. But so that's like white chocolate based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we looked use, for white chocolate chips, couldn't use those ones. We use dark chocolate, which is one of the suggestions in the um, recipe, which we will post in the description. Mm -hmm. um, and it worked out pretty well. It's yeah. nice that having something not so sweet as the base, because we're putting all the sweet stuff on top of it. Pretzels are good. They give it kind of like salty and crunchy and... Um, Oreos are great. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Solid. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a little melty. Make sure you let it set up in the fridge long enough. Um, we left in about an hour. About. We could probably I mean, use a little longer, but it's okay. Yeah, we could probably use a little longer, but it, it hardened up pretty good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, this is fun. Super easy. Really didn't take a whole lot of effort. Probably be fun to do with kids. Maybe at your kids' Halloween party. Maybe. If you have one of those. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd give this a four to five. Yeah, four. I mean, it's it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. Is it like the best? No, but it's good. Solid. Solid recipe. So. Uh, if you like peppermint bark, you'd probably like this. So, yeah, give this a try. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're the um, creative old lady who doesn't have any young kids anymore. Who gives out homemade candy at trick or treating? So weirdos like you can make this and give it away, and no one will eat it probably. But if they tried it, it'd be very good. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> we're done. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next week. Bye.